Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another quick post fight analysis video from Bellator 245 on the prelims Leslie Smith versus Amanda Bell. All right, y'all, uh, pretty much how I felt it would go. You know, I felt like uh, Leslie Smith, she was going to be able to outstrike and outwork Amanda Bell, uh, whether it was uh, on the feet or on the ground. You know, I feel like she definitely has the more experience. And she landed the better strikes in this fight, uh, had the better groundwork. Um, that's not to say Amanda Bell didn't make it competitive because she did have her moments. Uh, she was able to, you know, fend off some uh, submission attempts from Leslie Smith and make it competitive in the first and third round. But I feel like the the level up from Le uh, Leslie Smith was there and she was able to out hustle and one up Amanda Bell in different moments of the fight, you know, pulling out a unanimous decision. Uh, pretty much how I felt it would go over uh, Amanda Bell. But uh, just going back and looking at the fight real quick. Right away, Amanda Bell looked like she wanted to draw Leslie Smith into a firefight. You know, she was applying the pressure, looking like she wanted to exchange some strikes with Leslie. Uh, she landed, a, she started establishing a good little uh, leg kick to the lead leg uh, of uh, Leslie Smith. But Leslie, she started making adjustments, landing her own one twos and trying for some head kicks. Uh, Amanda going to the body. You know, she was going to the body, then going back upstairs. So it started getting pretty competitive in like the midpoint, but. I'd say yeah, Leslie adjusted well and she started landing better strikes. You know, she started uh, landing the better strikes in volume and landing straight up the middle. And when there was a point where she took uh, Amanda Bell down, she started landing some good ground and pound. But I feel like Amanda Bell, she was able to fend her off well again and get back to her feet. But towards the end of the round, uh, Leslie Smith, she was able to secure another takedown. Just a quick takedown in like the last 10 seconds. So much didn't come of it. So Leslie Smith pulled out the first round with those two takedowns. And I think landing the better strikes. And she was also using the good lateral movement in the first round. Like she wasn't exchanging how she does sometimes. You know, she used to get in those firefights with fighters, you know, um, kind of exchanging with that that overhand right. But she used, you know, she used some good lateral movement, moved side to side and kind of picked her shots in the first round. Uh, second round, Leslie using her distance more, trying to land some of those good head kicks. But I feel like Amanda started pumping that jab out and uh, following up with some good body shots. So Leslie, she dis she disrupted that striking pace right away, which is smart, and she went in for a clinch and gets a takedown. Got a little work in on the takedown, but Amanda, you know, she got back to her feet, and uh, Leslie, she really was trying to turn this into a grappling match now to, you know, avoid the, the striking battles with Amanda Bell. So once again, she takes Amanda back down, gets on the back of uh, Amanda and wrestles to the back, and tries to lock in for that rear naked choke and she almost gets it but amanda bell i gotta give her a lot of credit she showed a lot of calmness and res resilience at the same time um in that rear naked choke attempt because uh it was about locked in but she just slowly slowly uh was able to slide out and almost get back to her feet before leslie smith almost tried for an arm bar attempt but she slid out of that arm bar attempt and got back to her feet and you know was able to finish with some strikes so uh, Amanda Bell definitely has some skills here, you know, as far as on the ground, you know, she was able to wrestle out of some uh, submission attempts, but I feel like, again, Leslie Smith, she kind of controlled that round, you know, just with the offense. Last round, Amanda Bell, I feel like she knew that she needed this round, you know, her corner said it, you know, they, they said that she needed the last round to uh, secure a win. Uh, so I think she was trying to go in there and close the show because right away she started applying that pressure to Leslie Smith. You know, she didn't want to go into the striking. She went straight in, uh, timed the striking from Leslie Smith and got the body lock and body body takedown. And as soon as she got her down, she went straight to the back of uh, Leslie Smith. And when she got to the back, I thought she was going to try to lock in for a rear naked choke, but it looked like she was just trying to get some ground and pound in. But Leslie Smith being smooth on the uh, with her grappling skills, she just slowly kind of turned around and winds up on the top position and she gets back to her feet and again when she gets back to her feet i feel like leslie smith just controlled the striking pace you know i think i think that amanda was landing some good uppercuts in there you know she was landing some good uppercuts but nothing too fierce where leslie smith was going to back off and get too much respect because again leslie smith was just using those clinches at points too to avoid exchanges like she take two shots she go into a, uh, a clinch and kind of wear amanda down and you could kind of see a little bit of blood from amanda's nose and uh, kind of gassing a little bit, you know. So I think that uh, Leslie Smith did what she wanted to do as far as, you know, sapping the energy of Amanda Bell and just kind of controlling the fight all around, even on the feet and the ground. So I'd say that Leslie Smith definitely closed out strong in that last minute uh, with her own offense and, you know, just fighting a smart fight. You know, when you get to that age, like 38, you got to fight smarter than you fight harder. And uh, yeah, it was overall a good fight. It was a good fight for Leslie Smith. I feel like, again, you know, this was a good change than, you know, some of the fight of the night type fights she put on in the past, you know, just seeing her use her IQ 
uh, against a fighter that came in heavier and you know was definitely going to use that uh, weight to their advantage on her but you know she was able to counter that weight and you know showcase the better ground skills and land the better strikes as well so yeah shout out to Leslie Smith you know pulling out another win I think from here you know next fight I'm going to talk about of course uh, I think she's looking for a fight with uh, Kat Zingano or Julia Budd which is a smart move you know that could probably be like a title eliminator title eliminator fight for them you know whoever wins if she fights uh, Julia Budd could get that uh, fight that rematch with uh, Chris Cyborg because yeah it would be a rematch for both right you know because uh Julia Budd of course she lost to Chris Cyborg and then uh Leslie Smith she fought Chris Cyborg back in the UFC so yeah whoever wins that fight could possibly get a rematch with uh Chris Cyborg but yeah overall I think that would be a good uh move for her you know as long as you know somebody's calling Chris Cyborg out you know Chris Cyborg needs fights I heard she has a fight coming up in October against Arlene Blinko so I am looking forward to that one to see how that goes uh but let me know guys in the comment section what you want to see Leslie Smith do from here do you want to see her fight Cat or Julia Budd next and again, shout out to uh, Amanda Bell. Hopefully she makes uh, weight next time and, you know, gets back in there and uh, starts uh, building that skill up. But yeah, guys, that's all I got on this one. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.